I'm Dr. Zoltan Rona and I'm a medical doctor. There were some idiotic people who were taking 600,000 units of vitamin D a day and they were getting like really high elevations of uh, uh, calcium and that's, that's a danger of too much vitamin D. But you know, how rare is that? I mean, most people are so deficient in it that even if they took 100,000 units for a whole year, nothing bad would happen to them because basically, uh, you know, most people need a huge amount to deal with stress, inflammation, viruses, Ebola, what have you. And, and, and basically, uh, you don't have to be worried about that. But when, when some people did develop vitamin D toxicity, the governments were in a panic and so they decided that they would overcompensate and what they ended up doing basically is uh, uh, prohibiting you know vitamin d levels in in bottles to they limited it to a thousand units per capsule which i think is ridiculous because in, if you went to uh, any other country in the world the states for example you can get vitamin d uh, 10,000 units per capsule or 20,000 25,000 so here in canada we've overcompensated for these rare individuals who got toxic using way too much. For example, in the 1930s or 1940s, they were using 600,000 units a day to treat acne. Well, of course it'll help with acne because, you know, basically it will elevate that protein in your blood that kills off whatever the bugs are. Um, but we don't have to go that high. To get a good result with vitamin D, we probably should be between four and 6,000 units a day, and that's perfectly safe. Well, vitamin D, one of the most interesting things about vitamin D is that the more you take of it, the more your body will manufacture a protein called cathelicidin. Now, cathelicidin is very interesting because it has natural antibiotic properties. It can help the body kill viruses, parasites, bacteria, and fungi. The higher that level of cathelicidin is, the more likely it is to do that. So that's why I'm telling people, take more vitamin D and you really don't need that stupid flu shot because the flu shot is loaded with mercury, formaldehyde and all kinds of toxins. And if I had a dime for every patient that told me that they got the flu or a cold or some kind of infection after they got the flu shot, I'd be a millionaire. Well, I wrote, my, I wrote that book uh, at the request of uh, my publisher. I, pr I didn't have much of an interest in vitamin D when I was writing the book, but when I was doing a lot of the research, I was amazed to see all of the things that it could do if you get the levels high enough in your bloodstream. And the other thing that got me interested was the fact that I could help so many people uh, overcome chronic inflammatory conditions using high dose vitamin D, which I couldn't do before. So I found that the more research I did on the subject, the more interested I became in the vitamin. And uh, now I'm a real advocator, promoter of using vitamin D. Did you know that vitamin D, if it was adequate in your system, could help uh, prevent or can help save the government $25 billion a year in healthcare expenses because we'd be able to prevent all these inflammatory conditions uh, including cancer, we'd be reduce the risk of cancer, particularly breast cancer and prostate cancer tremendously by using that. So we would save uh, the healthcare system over $25 billion a year.